The particles of matter with which we are familiar have properties like spin, an intrinsic spin, they are like spinning tops, these are the fundamental particles. They also have various types of charges, electric charge is very familiar. Less familiar are things like isotopic charge, which distinguishes between the proton and the neutron. And uh, these things are usually ascribed, for want of a better name really, to what we call internal symmetries. These are the intrinsic properties of matter which distinguish one particle of matter from another and also determine the type of dynamics in which this particle participates. <coughs> so, we are faced with the problem of trying to understand the deep nature of spin and also the deep nature of these so-called internal symmetries, electric charge being the most commonly understood example. Now, so far as in intrinsic spin is concerned, angular momentum is connected with rotation and rotation is something which is connected with space and time. You can see mm. a rotating body and you can you, 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 you understand by that rotation something which is happening to the physical magnitude of the body in space which we inhibit. The question is, is charge or the so-called internal symmetries, do they have certain rotations of a similar sort associated with them? Nobody knows. In this endeavor, we had to... Uh, there was a theory which was first propounded by Cartan in 1922, which was a generalization of Einstein's gravity theory. Einstein had uh, considered gravity to arise out of concentrations of matter, mm -hmm. just as Newton had, but of course Einstein did it in a far different geometric framework. He conceived of density of matter or energy as producing a curvature of space and time. Cartan had the idea that spin would also give rise to gravity by producing a torsion in space and time. And it's the aspect of torsion of space and time which we have found to generalize very naturally and very easily to comprehend internal symmetries as well. They seem to form a one whole a unit which is of extraordinary coherence. And uh, at the moment we are trying to see if the idea goes deeper and whether just as Einstein was able to use the curvature of space and time to give to his gravity theory a depth which was not present say in Newton's gravitational theory. Likewise by using the Cartan ideas of torsion, which Cartan had used for ordinary spin, for rotation, whether we could take in those ideas and looking at the extension which we have made of those ideas to include internal symmetries, get down to something much deeper. This is a continuing effort. We have completed, as I said, the first part, and we can see the synthesis. Mm -hmm. Whether it has a deep significance we do not know yet. How, how is this related to um, a, um, a unified field approach? You haven't yet talked, we've talked about torsion, but you haven't yet talked about the quantum principle. How do the two relate? Well, uh, all other theory is couched within the quantum framework. So in that sense, we are buying quantum theory right from the beginning. Mm. When you speak of the uh, unified field, of course what we are saying is that just as presently uh, one of the ideas which is now very current in our subject is that the weak interactions 
and the electromagnetic interactions both have both are described by the same field. What we have done is to show that spin two mesons which are responsible for part of the nuclear force and the gravitational interaction which is also mediated by gravitons of spin two have the same and so in that sense we have achieved a sort of unification if I may call it that which is which would be very strange to Einstein if he was alive we have used his he was wanting always to extend his theory to include uh, electromagnetism he failed mm -hmm. we have used his theory to describe nuclear forces so uh, you see he did not live to see the existence of spin 2 particles among the nuclear particles that is particles which are just relatives of the graviton if you like they interact with greater strength so from our point of view we in fact call these particles they are the F meson technically known we call them strong gravity and we say that nuclear physics is strong gravity so in that sense we do claim to have a certain unification 